Hi guys, got a request from Cherie van der Vliet. She wants a rubber band powered car that will go four metres in two seconds. Well, I've got something like 200 projects in my rubber band playlist and the majority of those are rubber band powered cars. So what I'm trying to do is something that's a little bit different to what I've done before. What I've got here is a piece of Corex, I believe it's called. It's plastic sheet that's made up of a sort of a honeycomb shape. And I'm going to use that for the chassis. Got some barbecue skewers for the axles, so they can just slide through the holes there. And to minimise the friction, because all the length of that tube there will be friction, I'm going to cut a, a big gap out the middle, so it's only the end bits that are actually in the axles. I'll do that front and back. I'm also going to cut little diagonal slots here. It'll make sense in a minute when I do it. So that when the axle goes through, it's only going to rub at the very edge. I'll just draw there. I'm going to Cut it like that, so we've just got that little bit there that's going to rub against the edge of the wheel, so that will minimise the friction as well. So, so now I'll cut something I'm just doing this roughly by eye at the moment, I'll measure it out in a minute. Something like, like that. And I'll do that at both ends so we minimise the friction. Right, I've drawn it in again just so we can get a rough idea. the general shape. If you want dimensions it's about 30 centimetres long and at the widest point 13 centimetres wide. Other than that the dimensions aren't that important. the basic chassis. This is the back end where we attach the rubber band to the axle and at the front end I've left this piece across so we can attach the rubber band to there so it's clear of that axle, it doesn't rub on it. Now for wheels I'm going to use these CDs that I've already made but I will just do one of them again so you can actually see milk bottle top. The ones that I choose have actually got a marking right in the middle so you know where the centre is. And I'll just hot glue that onto there, push a hole through the middle. That's going to be a tight fit on the barbecue skewer. CD, plastic.
plastic bottle top. Sometimes I put the hole through the middle of the bottle top before I glue it on and sometimes I do it afterwards. If you do it before you're relying on getting the bottle top exactly on the centre for it to be even on both sides. If you do it afterwards then it depends how accurate you are pushing the hole through. So I wouldn't say there's a best way. It's whatever is more comfortable for you. This bottle top is just about the same size as that ring in the centre there, so that should help me to get it lined up as central as possible. You can either put the hot glue round the rim of the plastic bottle top, or you can just go straight round on the CD. go. Job done. Let it cool down and then we'll push the hole through. I use this. It's called a braddle. It's just a sharp metal spike. But with lots of these bottle tops they're so soft you can actually push the barbecue skewer straight through. There you go. If your bottle top is not a good tight fit on the barbecue skewer, it might pay to run a bit of extra hot glue just round the centre there to help hold it in place. That's the axles in place. I've given them just a tiny little bit of clearance between the edge of the chassis and the bottle top about a sixteenth of an inch or a couple of millimetres maybe. So we can cut off the excess. Quite a small cable tie but that should do the job. It's just to give us something to hook the rubber band onto. Makes it easier to connect it all up. few rubber bands there joined together so that they're long enough to go from the front to the back. There'll be a link in the video description showing you how to join rubber bands together if you don't know. We'll just push that through there, round like that. So that's the front connected up. Just hook it over there. And that's the back connected up. Now we're supposed to cover this four meters in just two seconds. So I may need to put more powerful rubber bands on there to give us the power. And that may make these wheels spin, not grip the ground. So what I've done before now is I've cut strips from rubber gloves which we can just stretch over the outside of the wheel and that acts like a tyre, gives us extra grip. 